Good morning. Good morning. It's so good to see everyone today. Happy New Year. We've got, a, we made it another trip around the sun. Um, today we are in our first Sunday of Christmas, which some years we actually have two Sundays of Christmas depending on what day of the week Christmas falls on. We're not going to make it to a second Sunday before uh, the Epiphany, so this is our only Sunday of Christmas. And so um, I love this service. Oftentimes I am not here. I'm out with family and um, catching up with loved ones during this time. So I'm excited that I am here and able to enjoy this service with you today. Um, with that, um, I am not aware of any community announcements or anything that's um, going on, um, and I just wish everyone to continue um, celebrating Christ's birth and the love of your family and friends as we continue to celebrate the season. Are there any community announcements we need to be made aware of at this time? Um, I know. Um, we are accustomed to standing when we sing, but we've got so many songs today, and um, I don't want you to worry. We'll, we'll stand for our, our opening hymn, um, and we'll stand for our, our last, our, our sending song. But with, with everything else, don't worry about <coughs> our standing, and, and I'll, I'll guide you what we need to. So with that, um, we begin our worship with our gathering song. Please stand with me as we sing Good Christian Friends Rejoice. <laughs> Let the light of our faith shine in all we do, 
through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. The first reading is from Isaiah chapter 9, verses 2 through 7. The people who walk in darkness have seen a great light. Those who live in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy of the harvest, as people exult in dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden, and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors, and all the garments rolled in blood, shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onwards and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Word of God, word of life. shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord. 
in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they shall live secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and he shall be the one peace, one of peace. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God.
Suddenly, a large group of angels from heaven also appeared. They were praising God. They said, May glory be given to God in the highest heaven, and may peace be given to those he is pleased with on earth. The angels left and went into heaven. Then the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby. The baby was lying in the manger. Thanks be to God.
was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, Jerusalem, saying, Where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observed a star at its rising, and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him, and calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people. He inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, in the Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. <clears throat> And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, and by no means least among the rulers of Judea, for from you shall come a ruler, who is the shepherd, my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they heard, had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chest, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. <laughs> Take the child and his mother 
and flee to Egypt, and remain there until I tell you, for Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. Then Joseph got up, took the child and his mother by night, and went to Egypt, and remained there until the death of Herod. This was to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet, Out of Egypt I have called my son. When Herod saw that he had been tricked by the wise men, he was infuriated, and he sent and killed all the children in and around Bethlehem who were two years old or under. According to that time, he had learned from the wise men. Then was fulfilled what had been spoken through the prophet Jeremiah. A voice was heard in Ramah, wailing and loud lamentation, Rachel weeping for her children. She refused to be consoled because they were no more. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. we have this reading that seems to be discordant with the warm, fuzzy story of Christmas. The story um, that Matthew tells us of the slaughter of the innocents. It's not a, a story we uh, tell often. We often skip over it, but it is a story that is um, important to us to remember that with the birth of Jesus came a cost, especially to the children of Bethlehem. We struggle, I think, every year as a worship and music team finding what song do we pair with this. Um, the, the glorious hallelujahs, the, uh, all the fun Christmas carols that sing celebrations just didn't seem to match this. Um, Sharon was wise enough to do a little research for us, and um, we had kind of joked that we should write our own hymn um, to these words. And, and Sharon actually did, and I think maybe next year we'll, we'll put it to some music and we'll, we'll have our own hymn for this. But she um, discovered the Coventry Carol. The Coventry Carol is actually a a song that I was familiar with. Um, I knew it first from Mannheim Steamroller, you know, instr instrumental versions, but Pentatonics also does a wonderful uh, rendition of the Coventry Carol. When you hear it, my first inclination was, oh, it's a beautiful lullaby to the baby Jesus. I would be wrong. For years I have been wrong. It's a six, 16th century carol that was um, developed in England. And England has a wonderful reputation of writing morbid hymns and morbid poetry and uh, just telling the truth the way it is. Um, and this carol is a tribute, a, a lullaby to the babies who were killed um, by Herod. Um, and so I think it is appropriate that Heidi and I play this. Um, Trace should be with us, but if there could have been another murder on our hands getting him to practice and work with us, that for his safety and our safety, um, it's better as a duet right now than a, he, he's fully capable, it's just, uh, Yes. <laughs> um, but um, sometimes life knocks the words right out of us. And sometimes the music carries on when we have no words. And I think that this is appropriate for that. And um, I'm also really grateful. Um, Gavin gets a shout out. Gavin is Heidi's roommate who wrote, uh, he didn't write the lyrics, or the, he arranged it for us. Um, that's one of his many gifts, and um, I'm grateful for him um, and the arrangement that he made. So here's the Coventry Carol. Mm -hmm. 
do a metatrio. <laughs>
always. Let us take a moment and share God's peace with those around us this morning. God's peace be with you everywhere. We continue with our responsive prayer. Glory to God in the highest. And peace to God's people on earth. Blessed are you, Prince of Peace. You rule the earth with truth and justice. Send your gift of peace to all nations of the world. Blessed are you, Son of Mary. You share our humanity. Have mercy on your sick, the dying, and all who suffer this day. Blessed are you, Son of God. You dwell among us as the Word made flesh. Reveal yourself to us in word and sacrament, that we may bear your light to all the world. Amen. Please be seated as we receive our offering.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior Jesus Christ. In the wonder and mystery of the Word made flesh, you open the eyes of faith to new and to a new and radiant vision of your glory, that beholding the God made visible, we may be drawn to love the God whom we cannot see. And so with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the host of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let every heart receive your Savior. Everyone is welcome. There is a place for you.
Please rise. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. On this day, O oh God, you gave us Christ the Son to save us. As you sent the one foretold, send us now with good news for all people. Let the gladness of this feast have no end as we share with others the joy that fills us through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. Before our final blessing, do we have anything to celebrate? I know Jayla had her birthday, and they're on a, a weekend vacation, so we saved her last week. Yes, and Everett Bean has a birthday today. Yes. So we say happy birthday to Everett <laughs> and his ass. You want us to sing to him? Does he catch sure. it on? Well, we'll you know, hopefully they'll be watching it All online. Right. So <laughs> I think we'll catch this one for Everett then. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Everett. Happy birthday to you. I want to give a shout out today to Allie who. Um, on the spur of the moment was asked to read today and this was her first time reading and I think she did amazing and I know the next time she does it she'll do a lot louder um, but she was amazing I'm so proud of you Allie um, we all have a place and a time to read and so um, I'm very grateful for that uh, if there's nothing else um, let's continue with our blessing let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May you be filled with the wonder of Mary, the obedience of Joseph, and the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the determination of the Magi, and the peace of the Christ child. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Thanks be to God.